Hello, friends. This is Vineet. Um, I'm not sure how many people are, are with me at the moment, but I'm sure there will be more people joining in soon. Um, today, we are going to talk about this new movie. Actually, it's not new, but it's new on Netflix, uh, Lift Boy. And I, I have got uh, quite a few people who are likely to join me and express their views about the movie. So I think, um, first of all, let me invite the first person who is already uh, in the waiting room. Um, Anand. So here we go. Okay. Hello, Anand. Welcome to the program. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Nice to see you after a long time, actually. Same here. Right. Um, I believe you have already seen this movie, um, uh, The Lift Boy. Yeah, a couple of days before. Okay. And what do you think of it? What is your take on the movie? What do you think? A very nice movie, low budget movie, and inspiring as well. Uh huh. Okay. Nice, nicely, nicely drafted, crafted, nicely directed. Oh well, okay. And uh, I mean, any particular character that you enjoyed the most in the movie? I mean, what do you think of the characters? Different characters that you have. I mean, although there are only about how many nine, ten, maybe eleven characters in the whole movie. Which one? It's do you very. Have? It will be very hard to choose from those characters because every single character is uh, giving some impression on your mind. Right. Okay. So if you ask me to choose one, then right. uh, by keeping stone on my heart, I can choose the father. Okay. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. And why? What do? Why? Why do you say so? Because. even after having so much of difficulties in his own life for like 35 years or so of his career in lift boy i mean lift lift man yeah he didn't no. uh, show that uh, pain to the family true very true i i possibly agree i mean yeah good good interesting to know <laughs> okay and then um, and as a matter of yeah yeah please go ahead and he was trying to educate his son so that uh, he don't need to go with the same pain which he went through okay that that's is good that's good my take on this yeah okay well very interesting okay and and if you have any do you have any question i mean tomorrow i am interviewing the whole cast and the director of the movie uh, same mm -hmm. time same place 5 pm Do you have any question uh, or questions for them? I would like to ask only one question: that uh, what is the source of the inspiration to the director to go for this kind of subject? Because it is not a commercial movie, right? And I don't know how much he is going to earn, though it's a low cost budget, a low budget movie. But at sure. least there is some cost in it. So how is going to recover those that cost? <laughs> in fact i was looking for the financial side of this movie on internet and i couldn't find any details like how much they have earned and i i couldn't find it anywhere so this could this will be a question tomorrow i mean how, maybe how much they spend and have they earned the money yet or not yeah at least they should reach to the break even point yeah exactly exactly well hope so hope they do and and hope they already did but let's i will ask this question for you all right anything else you want to add to your comments Now that is only the thing which uh, bothering me. Like, see, if you have scenario of this kind that people can earn from this kind of movies as well, so it will be inspiring to other people who are thinking to go with this subjected uh, movies. Otherwise, people will be like running behind only commercial movies. True. Very true. Well, well said. Well said. Uh, and tell us for for the viewers, what do you do? I mean, what is your profession for living? Just to get an idea. what kind of people are actually enjoying the movie what is your profession yeah i am like uh, working as a academic coordinator with a private college which is an international college so side by side i am doing like lecturing as well in the college in business study stream right academic person yes sir <laughs> okay good thank you thank you very much anand and uh, we'll talk to you again yeah sure thank you let me invite uh, Okay, so I'm going to invite somebody else now. Let me let's see who is there in the waiting room. I've got Sushma in the waiting room. Let me see if I can add. Oh wow, we've got Sushma here in the waiting room. So she's she's live now. Uh, good evening, Sushma. How are you? Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> okay, so uh, let me let me just um, start with. Uh, when did you watch this movie? 
yesterday yesterday i watched this movie yeah, no, no, and it was excellent yeah i liked it very much you liked it very much yeah. well, i know you are an artist uh, yeah. and uh, as an artist it's, it's it's very good to hear that they liked it as well i mean the previous person anand he was um uh, an academic he is a lecturer um you are an artist so it's interesting to see that artists have liked the movie uh, what did you like in the movie tell us Uh, yeah um, i like uh, the whole story but the mrs disuza character character of mrs disuza uh-huh. was uh-huh. really amazing because she was not dis- uh, depressed that she have no kid or anything she was uh, right. in the background of the hero and she spent lot of money uh-huh. and she have so much enthusiastic that i always say never stop learning so she was doing that yeah. she first studied that art engineering art and then she taught him so this was a very great and the story himself it is very great that you know, the father who want to uh, show only that what he is doing he was doing in his whole 35 years yeah to give a lesson that how hard work is the lift boy Sure. and that he don't want that he also become the same lived why mm-hmm. so the whole story was very nice and direction was very nice i liked it <laughs> the whole is very interesting to hear that and do you have any question for uh, the director or the cast or maybe mrs disuza do you have any question you want to ask with them i never think like that uh, the which question i can do Hmm. I don't think I have any question because oh. uh, everything was so clear. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh huh. Uh, that uh, only the thing that uh, the end was too early because they showed in the next uh, uh, scene after death of Dissuza. Oh, no. well, wait, 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 wait. We don't want to talk about the end at the moment. We don't want to disclose any information about the movie. So, uh, okay, okay. So let's keep that out. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay well um, I will I will talk about the story as well when we talk to them tomorrow and then the, I'm sure you can join in as well when we are talking to the director and the yeah, cast definitely I I would love to join good let's see who else is there in the waiting room and uh, let me invite uh, sona sona is already there in the uh, and ritu is there who who should I invite let me invite uh, ritu first ritu was already there oh hi ritu hi Uh, Hello, it's so good to be here. <laughs> yes, good to see you. How are you? Yeah, not too bad. Very good. And good to be talking about this movie. <laughs> how is quite you, nice. Before, I, we talk, before we talk about the the, the movie, tell us how is your uh, lockdown going on? <laughs> it's going great for me okay. because I'm very busy person otherwise working on few things. So I'm really relaxing at the moment although my kids they keep me busy all the time. Right. But uh, relaxing otherwise. I'm enjoying doing a lot of things I wanted to do. So making full use of this time. <laughs> Wonderful. Tell us tell us I mean when did you watch the movie and and uh, what did you like about the movie tell us i saw this movie i think last week one of my really close friends uh, she recommended this movie okay. um, the main reason why she recommended was uh, uh, these days like whatever we watch it's with kids because kids are there all the time so right. this movie is quite clean i thought and uh, not just clean but it's good for kids like they get to learn few things from here right. and as a uh, uh, sushma rightly said i really loved the uh, character of mrs disuza Yeah. Uh, like she was lonely and uh, there was a lot of reasons for her to be depressed but she did right. quite good and like she was learning at that age and all that with that even the character of the boy uh-huh. i really loved like how it it was a very no- natural like a normal character of a boy who wouldn't want to study like what you see like how my kids are these days and mm-hmm. they just think okay if they do something good they'll get return of that but mm-hmm. how he gradually picks up these things and how he makes use of like when he actually I won't disclose the end but I thought the end was quite good as well which okay. gives a lesson to the kids okay and one more thing that I want to like point out about the movie that I I really noticed that lollipop in the beginning uh, that picture of that in yeah. the lift yeah. 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 and I understand like how they have used like little things in the movie which uh, maybe when you see it second time you're like okay this is what they're trying to show so it was quite good 
Very wow. simple, but very good and emotionally touching movie. Really nice. Good. And, and do you have any question for a uh, question or questions for any of the crew members or the director or anybody? Would um, like not like what would they be working on next? Because I'd really oh. love to see the boy again, because yeah. he would quite quite nice. So uh, him, Mrs. D'Souza as well. So what's uh, the next project? And this one was quite good. And uh, I don't know if it was only made for Netflix or it's a commercial film or something. So I think it, it was actually released January two thousand and nineteen. So it's it's not a new movie. It's, uh, it's only yeah. released on Netflix uh, on twenty seventh of April. Which is very recently, so uh, it was probably made for mainstream, uh, and, and then it was released on Netflix only in April. So that's that's how it is. What that's what I have read. But I will I'll, I'll ask this question. Yeah. yeah, and one more thing, like uh, as the boy mentioned, uh, like somewhere in between, there was one line where the boy says that I don't understand why should we have a lift boy? Like, can't people just press that button? Mm -hmm. So, uh, and it's the luxury that's only available in India, I think, <laughs> for us. So oh, that was one thing, like picking up a uh, story on someone which we don't really think like it exists, like people like those and the uh, uh, the profession. <laughs> so it was good. Well, exactly same right. question my son was asking as well. I mean, why do they have to have somebody to press the buttons? Why can't they yeah. just press it themselves? And I say, yeah, well, good question, but that's how it is in India. You have to have somebody who presses the button. He's not. Yeah. But I wonder if it's still there because I haven't seen. I don't know. Like uh, I haven't seen that many lift boys, but I haven't been to that many places. I'd say with lifts in India, so I don't. I know. suppose it's a luxury for some of the apartments where you you, right. you rent a flat or you buy a flat, and and then you have all these luxuries where you have a watchman, you have a lift boy you have somebody else they they look after you uh, as much as they mm. can i think this is part of the game I suppose. okay all right thank you Ritu. thank you very much uh, thank you I, very much let thank me you many i can invite let me invite us uh we've got sona here so shall we is sona are you ready let me just invite her oh hi sona hi how are you yeah i'm good thank you oh i can see some india map behind you what's happening there Oh, no, no, I'm not mapping COVID. Um, that's what some of my friends thought I was doing. This is all the places I visited before the uh, the whole world got locked down. Oh, no, yeah. all right. That's quite a few places you've got ticked there. Okay, good. Well done. Yeah, <laughs> working my way. Okay, great, great. Tell us, tell us, I mean, when did you watch this movie, by the way? Um, About four or five days ago. Aha, uh -huh. okay. And then how do you like the movie? Tell us a bit more about your experience while watching the movie. What was your expectation and how uh, did it work? Well, to be honest, it just came up. Um, I opened Netflix because these days that's our biggest savior. Um, so we opened Netflix, we were browsing through. So this came up, the, the title is quite unique. It, it kind of stands out in some ways. Right. So we thought, okay, let's start to watch it. And uh, to be honest, my, my experience is quite simple. The, the movie is simple, it's effective and it's really heartwarming. So that's my three words for it. <laughs> Any particular character that you liked in the movie? Well, Mrs. Disease definitely stood out. Um, but yeah, I think I liked all the characters. I think everybody did a really good job. They justified the role they were, that was given to them. And um, yeah, really enjoyed it. OK, good. If you ask me which character I liked, I would say the Watchman. OK. <laughs> Why was that? I, I love the Watchman because he was sleeping all the time. <laughs> Every time this guy would come, he is sleeping there. I love that character. <laughs> now I'm going to ask how did the audition work for that Watchman character? <laughs> <laughs> what did they check in the audition? Yeah, check what would be the yeah the stuff? skill set they were looking for? <laughs> exactly, exactly. This is this is very interesting. I mean, uh, what they noticed in characters was very interesting. Any yeah. question? Any question that you have for uh, the cast? Uh, to be honest, the, the same question that was asked before, really, what, what is the next project that they're working on? What have they been doing since then? And what's the, the, the concept of their next project? Really looking forward to it. All right. Good. Good, good to hear from you. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Let's see who else I can bring in. If there is somebody else, let me just bring it down. And then uh, I'm just trying to see who else I have got uh, on the... Oops.
Oh, we've got one more guest here, uh, Rim Jim. Let me just add her to the stream. There you go. Hi, good Hello. evening, Rim Jim. How are you? I'm okay. How are you? Tell me, were you able to hear us while we were? Um... Yes, very clearly. Oh, that's good. Okay, I was not sure if people in the waiting room can hear as well, but now I can see their expressions um, that they are smiling. So I can I, I can imagine that they are listening. I yes. was smiling, but probably at myself, but yeah, I could hear as well. <laughs> okay, good. Good, good, good. How is your uh, lockdown going on at the moment? Uh, it's going good. Uh, it's not too bad. Uh, getting through it uh, with teenage boys, it's a challenge, but uh, I'm okay. okay. <laughs> and then when did you uh, watch this movie? When was it? When did you watch it? I actually watched it yesterday. Okay, and then... Tell us your uh, your uh, reaction or feedback on what do you think? What is your take on the movie? It's very interesting because I've got two teenage boys, um, 18 and 19 years old. And when I was choosing the movie, they were both saying, what's a lift boy? So before starting the movie, I tried to explain that there is an actual job in India where you have a lift boy pressing buttons. And so it's about that. So they were kind of very intrigued and they were kind of initially they were laughing. But I think one good thing about the movie was from the first scene, it captured them. I mean, it was wow. really good and they were interested and they're both sitting instead of trying to run away like they usually do when they're watching a Bollywood movie. So that was quite good that that age group were able to relate with that character. Right. And right. it's quite close to them. So it was like they could kind of feel his emotions and they were like really into the movie. I think it's quite good the way it builds up. Okay. And did they, did your uh, kids, they watch it as well or? Yes, yes, they oh, did. Uh, and what was their reaction? Uh, that's interesting to know. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. They were like very, they got into it from the first scene, uh -huh. uh, which I was surprised because they weren't even aware of the concept of lift boy, that you had a job <laughs> uh -huh. uh, of a lift boy. There was someone's pressing the button. So they were, and once they started seeing it, especially my younger son, he's quite similar to uh, the character. So he was very into it. Like they, it they could relate to it, I think, which was quite good. That age, right? Okay. And then any particular character that you uh, you, you like or you prefer one of the characters out of those uh, ten or eleven characters altogether? I think they were all brilliant, but yeah, of course, the main character was really good. The way you could kind of, although they've shown his different character in the beginning where he was a carefree, but you could relate to that and you could see his journey and his growth through the movie and how he kind of, how it affected him. So I think he was brilliant, the main character, but they're all really good. When you say main character, I mean, which one would you count as main character, Mrs. D'Souza or Lift Boy? <laughs> Actually, I, I think for me, it was Lift Boy, although I think the father is also quite prominent because he did it on purpose for a reason. Of and uh, of course, uh, Mrs. D'Souza as well. But for me, the boy was the main character. <laughs> and then did you notice the settings of uh, Raju's home? Um, they had one um, charpai bed on side, and then they had a chair, and the table fan was was on the chair. I don't know if you noticed that or not. And um, then, <laughs> then they had a curtain, and behind that curtain, the parents, the mum, <laughs> the mum was sleeping most of the time. Yeah, I was trying to explain it to my boys that that's how it is with like kind of some families in India where it's like that's how they sleep, and he was given the privilege of sleeping on the bed and. Exactly, exactly. That's very interesting how they have done it. Uh, I was surprised that the, I, I'm going to ask this question basically that where did they get that concept from? Whether it's one bed, one chair with a table fan and a curtain, and behind the curtain is parents on the floor. And yeah. they used to eat on the floor. Yeah. Every time they would see a uh, plate, somebody on the floor, literally on the floor, there's no chatai, nothing, just sitting on the floor which was very interesting to watch actually and, and i liked it actually okay yeah, any, it was anything you want to ask from the directors or um or the cast anybody 
I just want to see, like, uh, how did he come up with that story? It's really good, like, concept and very simple to follow. What was his inspiration behind it uh, to come up with such a simple thing? But such, like, it has an impact on people who are watching it and right. you can relate to that. So that's something interesting. And what else is he planning to do? So I'll be looking out okay. for that. <laughs> Okay, oh, we have got another gentleman here, uh, uh, Sachin, uh, shall I let me, okay, uh, Rimjim, um, I will be with you soon, so uh, I'm going to invite uh, Sachin now, let's see if he has watched the movie or not. Hi, Sachin, how are you? Good, 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 I'm pretty good, so. Uh, how are you, I... how is everything, how is your, where are you uh, at the moment, tell me, I mean, I think you are in America, yeah? Yeah, I'm in a beautiful city of uh, clear water, which is uh, uh, number three in the world for honeymooners to come. So this is a beautiful city of Florida. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, are you on your honeymoon at the moment? What? Are you on your honeymoon at the moment or is it finished? No, it's uh, still going on. It's still going on. Good, good, going, good, going. Keep it going, man. <laughs> okay. okay. Tell us, have you already watched this movie, Lift Boy? Uh, not yet, but I, I read about it and it's a pretty good movie and whenever I'll get a chance, I'll definitely uh, watch this movie. Uh, can you can you give me some pointers that what should I look in that movie, especially because uh, I'll focus myself on that? Well, I would say uh, the, I mean, the way I see this movie, I see it as a very low budget, very simple movie, very, very simple story and very nicely told story, I would say. And the details, they have worked on the details of the movie, so you will enjoy watching the de details of and, and I think just enjoy, relax and enjoy this. There's nothing uh, complicated in the movie. It goes with the flow. You just sit there and you enjoy it till the end, I think. That, that's the best I can describe the movie. Okay. Definitely, I, I love oh. to watch that movie and uh, provide my comments on the Facebook or something which is the social media sure. and we but take it from tomorrow there. I have got uh, I'm I'm interviewing the director and the whole cast of the movie okay that's great so if you wish to join in at least you can watch you can leave your comments and you can talk about it uh, if you watch it between today and tomorrow you can give your feedback tomorrow sure I will try to do that <laughs> okay so let thank me you. See. thank you thank you such Let's see who else is available. We still have Sushma and Anand and Rimjim. Shall I invite them all? Let's see. Let's have a quick chat together. So we've got Rimjim there and we've got Sushma there and we've got Anand there. Yeah. Anand, we can't see you somehow. Right. So you guys are still here. Good. Good. Oh, wow. We've got four. <laughs> let's see. Let's see. Anything else you want to add to the to the to your comments from what you Anand, would you like to start? Anything yeah. else? Yes, uh, like people are telling about D'Souza, Mrs. D'Souza, right? They are most favorable uh, character for them. But I'll again stick to with my choice, that is the father. father. <laughs> and the reason is very crystal clear that he taught the lesson to the son and he take the whole pain mm. and he's not showing the sign of single sign of the pain into the mm. family. Good. Good. Yeah. Okay. Would you like to add anything? Uh, yeah, no, uh, I think uh, it's a brilliantly made movie where you can relate to it. I think very simple, nothing complicated. And it's brilliantly made, that's what I'll say. I got into it straight away from first scene till the last scene. It caught you and it had you engaged throughout. Right. Okay, good, good, good. Sushma, would you like to add anything? Yeah, actually, the direction is so nice that uh -huh. it is very difficult to choose one person in the movie. Oh, they could yes. really make the whole team. Oh. The team was so nice, the boy... Uh, as Rimjim told that uh, first he shown in a, a carefree boy in the college, then slowly, slowly he uh, is starting the getting responsibilities, and then he uh, started enjoying first day. He was very feeling bored, and 
so all the character how they built up right and, and you told the uh, scene about the lollipop mm. and it was really very touching so everything uh, was so nice that uh, very difficult to choose one character in that but sure. i told mrs disuza because she was old lady and still she want to if you want to teach someone so first you should show him that i can do this then you can uh, teach uh, this is the life uh, yeah. rule so that i impress that impressed me that if you want to uh, teach something so you should know before so she did hard work whole night she learned how to do the art work of engineering and then mm. she taught him so that was really impressive and the, the feeling behind that it was important and good. i like it yeah good 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 we had somebody else but i think they we lost uh, mahua there was mahua earlier yes uh, anand please go ahead uh, vinod bhai i just want to say one more thing which just comes in my mind just now uh while thinking about the character of that left boy so it might possible that he was forcefully into that stream of engineering that's what he was not enjoying it uh so if it could be like any other stream of his own choice then it is a different scenario possibly Or that resonates with, I think, the young young generation quite a bit because the young generation now, with access to all this media and everything, they don't really know what is it that they enjoy because he did try different things and he was kind of always distracted. He knew what his passion was, but he wasn't following it for whatever reason, constraints, family constraints, or whatever it is. But then, because they don't know the direction, they don't have that. concentration or motivation to follow one thing because nothing's bad or good it's you need that concentration and i think that's how that character developed over the film from that carefree to that person hmm. who wanted to achieve okay okay i think guidance is very important in the life for the parental or who else is the around the kids guidance hmm. is very important because he was not taking interest because he could not understand mm. so interest is gone low but when mrs duza disuza developed his interest then he was back. so this is very important and responsibility of the elders mm. as they give the proper uh, way mm. uh, to the kids and uh, the young generation that they can understand things because in every where in the life wherever you will go nothing is like a sweet that you put it out and this dissolve everywhere a lot of problems will come but uh, guidance is very important so there the lift boy have the guidance of his father and the uh, mrs suza that was very important and i think that i love very much I want to say one more thing, Vinod Bhaiya. Please go ahead, Vinod Bhaiya. Before we go, I want to say one more thing. Uh, I would like to take the opportunity to share my thoughts about uh, parents, uh, those who are trying to fulfill their own dreams, which they couldn't fulfill through the uh, kids, which is not correct as well. I think we are all guilty of that a little bit, and and we have gone through that, and we might go again with our kids, but. that's how it is i suppose <laughs> right there and i think another thing about the film that i would say that i liked was this little comedy moments as well to keep you interested like that little boy and other things to give you that comedy and stuff which made it very interesting rather than having a serious story or anything i got i got another person joined joined in and mahua is there hello mahua how are you Hi, Mr. How are you? Hello, everyone. Hello. 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 Hello.
okay. literally not seeing each other until lunch time because I, one of us are in one call or the other uh, the kid busy uh, in her own school homework and you know tasks so on so yeah it's it's only that the fresh air is missing everything else is i think um well i'm glad you're good um, tell us when did you watch this movie when did you get a chance to watch this movie was it recently uh, I- I watched this movie uh, at uh, when my husband recommended actually he saw the movie first uh-huh. and uh, he came up and he said oh wow I just watched a very nice movie and I said okay so um then I went I think it was a good couple of days I think uh, uh, I think over the weekend possibly okay. uh, so um uh, he started with the story and I said you know no stop I want to watch it okay. and uh, then when I watched it I really liked it I just went into it um and i think uh, the title is very apt it's mm. not just about the word lift man it's about lift upliftment of um, of different people around you mm. it doesn't really matter which strata of the society you belong to whether you live in a penthouse or a jhopatpatti mm. it's about how you take that upliftment apply it in, later on in your life and i think um for me uh, mrs disuza was uh, modern disuza was absolutely an awesome lady um she not being able to bear a child that was not a deterrent factor um in her uh, you know she guided the guy raju uh, like her own child like a mother would do mm. uh, the day uh, the night before the exam of getting him uh, where he needs to be but also in turn it was raju so he really understood what he has got Mm. he's he's privileged so he's not born in a very rich family his father was a very ordinary man mm. but as they say where there is a will there is a way <laughs> his father found a way for you know him and mm. they got there yeah. and uh, it it didn't stop there it's uh, mm. he he wished for a penthouse uh, he got it but that didn't stop if mm. the later uh, the end of the movie we all see that he has opened um, uh, an academy <laughs> We, we should we should keep the end uh, okay. secret. Okay, <laughs> that's fine. That's yeah, fine. We don't want people to know the end, and they might actually kill us if, I, if we disclose. <laughs> okay. <them>. okay. <laughs> okay. No problem. So yeah, that, as I said, he yeah. he's made sure that uh, that uplift that he got was spread into sure. the wider society. Very, so very, very, very. That's what the chain continues. Yeah. Well, I think for me there were few wow moments in the movie, especially towards the end when certain things happen. Uh, i felt like saying wow that is that is a nice twist absolutely and i said it about three times i said oh oh that is a nice twist and and that made the movie different to any other movie i suppose absolutely i agree uh, starting from the characters to the naming the way they na- in him because uh, when we talk about lift lift is absolutely required mainly however high the building is only to go up people can take the stairs down hmm. but we need to lift people and i think that is very apt the naming convention of the movie was absolutely like yeah. awe yeah yeah lift could have two meaning here lift is lifting the whole thing up and lift as if the lift is going up and down the building uh, uh, absolutely so in in right. in very, very nicely applied in the movie i think and do you have any particular preference of characters out of those 10 11 characters in total who would you um, like most okay uh, for me i uh, i personally like uh, th- there could be name any school of thoughts i personally like raju's character okay uh, the reason is uh, uh, he has seen all walks of life born in a very poor family uh, yet uh, you know um, with the help of someone going to an engineering college if you see him entering the very first day at job he, he is in a very um, you know like a like a bit snobbish with a sunglass on and he's not talking to the the maid servant or anyone the, uh, the the gatekeeper and all those things but as as he moves up yeah and uh, the day mrs uh, tsuza calls him for a tea uh, it there's a big transformation mm. in his life and that is what is very important right. the transformation from a young chap mm. an engineering student maybe uh, having said that he has failed couple four times Uh, so maybe around his 18 20 years uh, 22 22 years of age um, mm. he has not seen that bit of life but i think that small phase i think mm. was um, i think destined to transform into a real human being and that's really happened uh, through this um, through that process good very good i mean i love the scene when 
this uh, Raju woke up early and he he's going to uh, meet, uh, to his job and he stayed somewhere and he uh, he's having a cup of tea actually a tea boy came in and and he he asked him do you go to school and he says would you pay for me so I, I loved that scene that was very touchy actually because uh, the only question he asked the tea boy was do you go to school yes because I, he, he Yes, he has that pain. He knows what that gap uh, can create. That devoid of you know being able to go to a good school has can create. I think good. you're very right. So, yeah. Yeah. And and okay, good. And do you have any questions for the director or the crew or cast? Anybody like Mrs. D'Souza or Moin or the. the <laughs> yes, I've got a question, and the question is just not for me. It's actually from my daughter. All right. Um, <laughs> she asked that, um, why did uh, the director decide to kill Mrs. D'Souza oh, there? Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. <laughs> we oh, don't, okay. <laughs> I will so why ask, you ask it offline, but yes, probably good. Yes. Uh, why, why did the end happen that way? That uh, way? You could say that. Well, I think the reality of life is that things do happen suddenly and it's just something that, that wouldn't happen in life. I mean, these things do happen. People, uh, things happen to people. And it, it's nothing uh, unconventional. Um, I mean, in life, you see these things every day. So, so anything, I mean, it's a story. And a story is, is writer's wish how and where he wants oh, to yes. take yes, you. Absolutely. I would absolutely. imagine that might be the reason why the the, the uh, the director or the story writer might have uh, visualized that whole thing happening that way. Maybe I don't know. <laughs> no, I am. I am absolutely. Uh, I'm. I'm with you on this. But yeah. I think it has a purpose. I think any any short like I any thought. short story, it yeah. it has a purpose and it has served its purpose very well. It did. It did. I mean, this is why the end happened the way it happened. Otherwise, that you wouldn't see all that what happened toward the end. No, true. True, yes, and and the, and the end really bring in that transformation and the chain of continuation. Exactly, and, and, yeah, it, and yeah. it was it was really good. Yes, and it wouldn't happen otherwise. No, it wouldn't happen. Yeah. Yes. So the story story would have been little incomplete if that link was missing uh, towards the end. So I think that justifies why that happened. What happened? I agree. Yes. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much, Nova. Thank you. And Thank you. I think uh, we, we have a few more, but uh, let me see if, if there's anybody interested in joining. It doesn't look like. Let me just bring everybody in, whoever is there at the moment. And then uh, we could say quick goodbye. Thank you very much, Mahua. Thank you very much, Anand. Thank you, Sushma, for joining Thank us you. and expressing your opinion about the movie. I will pass on all the messages tomorrow to the cast and crew. Uh, Jonathan is uh, the director of the movie. Uh, Raju was played by uh, Moin Khan, a young boy. Um, uh, this uh, Mrs. D'Souza was played by uh, Mrs. Naila Masood. Uh, she she will be with us tomorrow as well. And I'm I'm not sure if um, the girl, a young girl princess who used to meet in the lift, if she can join us tomorrow or not. She is Anisha Shah. If she can join us as well. So we'll see who can join us tomorrow. And then whoever joins us, I will convey your messages to them. And uh, just tune in tomorrow about 5 p.m. And, and listen to them, what they have to say. I have got a lot of questions for them. Um, very interesting questions and very interesting conversation. This is more likely to be tomorrow evening. Looking forward to seeing you all tomorrow evening. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank you very much. Bye. Bye.